if you missed it, I let you know very recently that I am dating a man. And I, he's pretty dreamy and I'm pretty over the moon. So it's Tyler Merritt, um, who I've had. Go back and look if you've missed it. Go back and get it. Go back and pick it up. And um, we met randomly in New York. Um, neither one of us lived there, but we were both there by ourselves. I was there for work. He was there for fun. And we got connected because we're the same publicist. And I was like, I'm going to stay one more night. And I, um, I think I want to go see a show tonight. I think I want to go see Waitress. And she's like, oh my gosh, I have a brand new client who you would love. Cause we were there. She and I were there for work. I have a brand new client who you would love. And he's going to go see Waitress tonight. How could I connect you? And I was like, oh, sure. What could, why not? And here we are. Listen, I was on record as saying, I cannot imagine a world in which I a man, a man comes into my life in a meaningful way via a dating app. I, I, this is not a judgment. A bunch of people I love found love on the internet through a dating app. I just knew I couldn't do it. I'm like, what? I'm just gonna like meet some man just meet him. I'm just going to go to a restaurant. I don't know him and like talk to him. No, I'm, am I, I'm going to text him. We're going to text. No. Um, it just felt impossible to me. You guys, I'm very old fashioned. Right. And, um, the last time I had a first date was in 1992. All right. So let's just go ahead and say I was out of practice and I don't understand the new ways. And so thank you, Tyler, for saving me from like Bumble or whatever. And also, I want you just to know now how dating is going for me because um, basically all the time I'm sort of just like, I can't, I can't do anything because I'm dating. It's, that's where my, that's where my brain is, right? That's where my attention is going. That is what I want to do. So I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make that deadline because I'm dating. Uh, and this transfers to all kinds of things. Like I'm, it's just, I'm using it carte blanche. Like, oh, I'm going to be unable to think about this at all because I'm dating. Or I'll tell the kids, oh, I'm sorry, I, I'm not gonna be cooking dinner tonight, I'm dating. I don't, well, you wanna cut an onion? That's not what I do anymore. So um, that is a useful, I don't know how long I can keep that up, but it is what I'm doing. Um, Cause it is how it feels. So anyway, he is phenomenal human. A bunch of y'all went and followed him after I introduced him to the community and he was like, this is a lot of women. It's a lot of women and it's a lot of white women at that. And I'm like, I know, um, he's black. And then all the white women came for him. And so, you know, God bless thoughts and prayers to him. You know, y'all keep him in your prayers as he navigates this new world. Um, but anyway, this is me all the time. It's gross. We're gross. I admit it. I freely admit it. It's gross. Not sorry. So, um, so I just want to give all my feelings, all my shout outs to the women out there in our, the, in the middle of our life who are having to date again. Like, what does that mean? And what does this look like? And how do I do this? And who will help us, right? Who will help us? May somebody just randomly connect you with an amazing man because you happen to be in the same town. I hope this for you. I hope this is the like magic, miraculous way this happens and you don't have to wade through a bunch of garbage. Um, but I do suspect that is the normal experience. Anyway, so now I'm that person. I am that person. I feel it. I feel myself being that person and I cannot stop. I feel myself saying like, Jen, have some chill. Also do your work. Also cook dinner. Also like, there's other, what else is going on in the world? Can't stop it. So now you know that about me. All right, everybody. I just, this is what I know so far. This is what I know so far about anything on this subject. Um, but I'm pretty happy about it. Okay. Um, have a great day, everybody. To all my like dating warriors out there, just keep going. Like there, there are good men. I, I'm telling you, it's a, I found one. I, there, he can't be the only one, right? Think they're out there. Just like keep going. Come on, champions. You know what?
I guess you're just gonna go to a restaurant. You are just gonna talk and you are just gonna text. That's how it's gonna go. I believe in you. All right, y'all. Y'all be sweet to Tyler. Y'all be real sweet to him. We're a lot to handle. This is a lot. This is a lot. Um, and he's just a man, like just living his life. And all of a sudden he's like, whoa. I'm like, well, I knew, I knew that it was going to be a whoa for somebody. And he's the one. So be gentle with him. Ease him in. You know what I mean? Gentle. Um, what I do like is how a lot of you guys have welcomed him in on the, my sort of intro post where I just brought him to the community and you were like, we're so happy to meet you. Like, we're so glad you're here. We're, we are, we're just already a fan of you. And if you hurt Jen, we will hunt you down in the streets. I'm like, oh, it's like a, the nicest threat you've ever gotten. You know, I knew that was coming. So anyway, I think you're having my back, but so does he. So be, be, be good to him. Be good to him. Okay, everybody. That's it. That's my dating ramble about Tyler.